Cab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and whatever holiday you celebrate, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, or don't celebrate. Anyway, we're going to talk today about the advent of code. This is really cool. It's not specific to auto hotkeys. You can really honestly use almost any language out there to solve basically these real hard puzzles. You know, some are harder than the others, but they're really awesome. It's a great way to practice, test your skills, and just, you know, really push the envelope on what you're capable of do doing and what maybe even your code is capable of doing as far as what language you're using. Obviously, this is auto hotkeys, and you should be able to, as far as I know so far, complete pretty much everything using auto hotkey language. But if you want to try it in Python or something else, test your skills, go for it. It doesn't matter. You're just given a problem. How you solve it is up to you. So I'll link this in the description below. Uh, this is kind of posted by, uh, I guess it's Nunki3. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right or none key three whatever but thanks for posting this guy um you know hopefully every day every year someone's posting kind of these links if not you know just save the website remember in next december to check it out and start uh coding or just google it um so yeah here we kind of have a bunch of this he has a few different links you know day one two three obviously there's going to be 25 because it's going to be kind of like an advent calendar that's why it's called the advent of code so let's jump over to the website. So here is the website. Now, as you see, here are all the days counting down to the 25th uh, for Christmas. So here's all the days that are currently active. You know, as of filming right now, it is day 12. So as you see, I can't click on any of the other ones. They're not available yet, but they're here. So let's say I want to do day 12 because I haven't even looked at that one yet. And it's very simple. Um, very laid out. Maybe the solution's not simple, but the way it's uh, laid out is very simple. So you got day 12, and you get a name, the hill climbing algorithm. And you basically just get like, a, it's kind of fun. You get a little story here, uh, usually. Uh, you know, uh, Santa needs to do this. The elves are manufacturing this many toys. How is production working? That kind of stuff. So you get a list of kind of like a story, some rules that you have to follow. Uh, they'll post some examples to explain what they mean by different like maybe variables, stuff like that. So you go all the way down and it goes, you know, what is the fewest steps required to move from the current position to the location that should get the best signal? So I guess they're trying to find like a cell phone uh, connection or something in this. So basically, you're just going through that, and no. <laughs> Little kitty wants to get in on the cheer. So yeah, you're just kind of basically given this problem with a certain amount of rules. And uh, you use uh, whatever language you want to solve, uh, get the answer. You know, basically spit out a variable, uh, saying what your answer is. Uh, down here, uh, you have some options of logging in. Uh, if you want to kind of basically play. Now, you can obviously do this on your own, see if you get the right solution, that kind of thing. So, uh, as you see, it does give you the solution. The path reaches the goal in 31 steps. So you want to make sure your output, maybe in auto hotkeys, would be like a message box. You want to make sure at the end of all your code, it equals 31. So they are giving you the answer, and you got to make sure you somehow get to that answer correctly following the rules and the story. You can sign in with GitHub, Google, Twitter, Reddit, and that's uh, basically to help you keep track of under here. If you go, you can go to status. Uh, this shows you how many time, how many uh, completions are being done. Each star is 5,740 users, kind of a random number there, um, but you can see how people are doing. Obviously, people, I guess, are getting a little overworked uh, and kind of dropping off as time goes by. But with logging in, you can uh, have your username or your name on here for the leaderboard. Or I guess apparently you can use the name username anonymous. Um, so yeah, it'll show like the yeah top 100 people as far as uh, completion and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, uh, there is a shop. I'm, I'm not sponsored by these people. I don't even know who they are, but I, I just want to point out the shop because I thought some of these are really cool. 
shoot, he even got like a onesie. Um, but I thought the logo was really cool and clean looking, so I just want to throw that out there. Like I said, I'm not sponsored. Um, you can, if you really want to dive into this and really want to practice, you can go all the way back to 2015, which is, I guess, when it really started. Um, so you can go back and, you know, really look at some of the old stuff uh, if you want to try that out and whatnot. Um, the calendar, you know, that's just for that year. You can go about to kind of learn about, you know, why this was created, who were the people involved, you know, here's some of the beta testers, uh, stuff like that. So definitely, you know, give them, you know, some credit by reading this, you know, just so they, you know, have their name out there and all that. But yeah, this is a great way to just really practice, really get your, I mean, really experience. I mean, some of these, I'll, I'll like reread the question like five times before I finally am like, okay, I know what I want to do. <laughs> um, and a lot of times I'll start coding and I'm like, wait, well, what was uh, that variable I needed again? So definitely uh, when you are coding, leave the current problem you're working on open. Now, um, with that being said, uh, there is the advent of code post that's on auto hotkeys. So if you are using auto hotkeys, um, a lot of people are going to, sometimes if you get stuck, feel free to ask the question here like you normally would with any code you're doing. You know, this stuff is very complex, so there are a good chance that you might run into an issue that you don't understand, maybe something you're missing simple. You know, it's easy to overlook something simple. So, you know, try your best, do it all on your own, but if you can't, no issue jump over over here, just let them know, hey, I'm doing the advent of code day seven. Uh, that way you don't have to copy and paste all that text over. You can just link to that day um, on your post or your comment for this one. Uh, that's definitely the way to go. Uh, obviously show your code, uh, that kind of stuff. And people are definitely gonna be ready to help you. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a really good way to really push the envelope and, I mean, fully test what you're doing. Um, not sure what else there is. Sponsors, you'll see, events. Um, but yeah, we're on day 12. Uh, oh, I, I didn't even notice this, but there is a countdown to when the next release is. So that's 10... So I guess they're on the East Coast, maybe, because that's actually midnight my time. Um, so, do, do, do. I guess, yeah, I guess it's midnight, yeah. Yeah, as you see, it's very easily laid out, but they can be very complex. So, all right, if you guys have any questions about this, uh, let me know. Uh, don't ask me coding questions on this. Just go to Reddit. Uh, this is just a video to kind of put it out there. I'm not here to answer your questions through the video. So definitely head up Reddit or Facebook, uh, the auto hockey sub and groups uh, instead. You're going to, it's going to work out better for you and I on there. All right, guys, have a great holiday and I'll see you next year. Mm -hmm.